dies, but how she dies, death comes in these terrible waves, grabs her, lets her go, horrible. Her skin changes, her smell, well, she smells like metal, Butch. and she is so beautiful, Butch. so beautiful. Oh. And the writing so detailed that you need a blanket. That's how he sends the chills up and down your spine. These people become like me, although they're French. Everything's so close. Yes, that's how it is with reading. Butch! Okay, just the scene with the coach, Butch, that's I all. She is, she is in the coach with her young lover. Actually, she wanted to give him a letter as a refusal that she doesn't want him anymore. And then the curtains of the coach close. And the people in the city see the coach for hours. Riding around everywhere. And suddenly it rides out of the city, the coach. And her hand appears from behind the curtain, opens, and paper scraps fly behind the coach like white butterflies. But I also read Madame Bovary, and it is one of the most beautiful books ever. One, one of the most beautiful. One of the most beautiful. Tell me what you want, because there are no new books in. You know, that doesn't matter to me, Rosarita. The main thing is that I reach my quantum every night. So I'll start up again with A. The books say... Oh, you know where to find A, so go and get it yourself. The books, they get better and better the more you read them. Actually, that's not quite right. The good books, they get better and better. The bad ones. Butch! Yes! The bad ones don't get worse. They just stay put. Shake them out and then buzz off. You're an angel, Rosaweta. If I wasn't reading so much, but I, 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 I would like night, to. Have I'd a like nice to. evening. You already been waiting there for a while? I'm going to close up now. I'm sure you don't mind coming back tomorrow. Because of you. The book about the city, sure, you can look at it tomorrow. <sighs> Do me a favor and leave now, please. I'd also like to go home sometime. Need it now. Here you go. If you want to take it with you, you will have to enter your name, but hurry up. Stop that! You don't read books like that? Do you even know how to read?
It's nothing. Thank you. Hello? It's okay. When the sun goes down here and darkness falls, the blanket of winter is no light at all. You search for a shelter to calm the storm. Shade Just to stay warm But I'd walk through the snow If you open up your door I'd walk through the snow I'd walk through the
stepped on you. Do I know you? What do you want? Aren't you the book batter? Where? Where's the other one? Oh, you mean Wida? Well, she's no longer with us. You don't have a crush on her, do you? Oh, look. What do we have here? Here we go. Have a nice evening, Maya. So, do you want to excuse yourself? Thank you. You're welcome. My pleasure. You don't talk very much, I guess. You're in Inupiaq or what? Russian. Oh. What is your name? Kotsubiu. Your name is? Kotsubiu. My people discovered this place. Your people? OK, now listen to me. Katsubu, that is a German name. I myself... I hate your kind of jokes, boy. Who shows no respect to books, normally has no... This time you won't get far. This time the sheriff will come. And then the handcuffs will say click. And the books will be safe again from you and your kind. Young man. I just thought that I saw a naked woman. Hey, you old bookworm! My beautifully educated princess of the world of books. Forgotten my toilet brush. I see your admirers still here. Did you both have fun throwing books again? I hated your spying on other people. 
turn it off. Just turn it off. Do you have your period or what? No. Are you getting it? Are you out of your mind? How much longer is this circus going to go on? This is absolute terror. It must be Christmas. The young man is bringing presents. Do we need help? Should I go and get someone? No, I'll be able to handle this myself. So, what is it with this rubbish? He was Russian, fine, okay, then you know it all. I'm happy for you. Anything else? You know more. Tell me. They were Russian, that's all. You're lying! Me? You say that I'm lying? You, you lie to me and say that you are cold like the town. You come in here and throw his books, do a strip tease, dig up a public sign. Your name is Kotzebue? You shall have your story. Otto von Kotzebue, who discovered this area here, was the third of 17 children of the successful German playwright August von Kotzebue, who in the year 1819 was stabbed to death by the theology student called Sand. Sand was sentenced to death and decapitated by sword in public. The Kotzebues lived part of the time in Rival, Estonia, so that some of their children were born as Russians. Four of the sons are to be found in the dictionary. One was a writer, one a high-ranking officer, one a discoverer, and one was a battle painter. Supposedly, the painter went crazy and jumped through his last painting. The girls were not mentioned. That's it. Noyak? I think that we'll help Kotzebue to carry that sign out of here now. All right, folks, we're in the middle of the game, coming down to the wire. Here we go. Be four. Be good. I sixteen. Not me anymore. Next one. I twenty. We'll get you plenty. Slow down, Chuck. Slow uh, down. I'm trying to slow down, down man. Oh, 63. Don't look at me. Bingo! Well, congratulations, Bill. The devil always shits in the biggest pile. <laughs> All right, folks. Next game's going to be with the hard cards. Let's rock and roll. Game number 12. Uh, oh, Lord, what a friend we have in Jesus. Stay with it, honey. Stay with it. Game goes on. B13. I want you to turn it to 13.
gonna have to get the police. Hey! This is... Who's this thing? Found you. Yes. As a newborn baby. Yes. Where? Nobody knows. But not here. No. Somewhere in the wilderness. Yes. The Eskimos used to do that with the extra girls, but they let them freeze to death. They didn't put them in a cardboard box with a destination on it. And now you want to know... Yes. ...who your father was. Yes. And your mother... Yes. Mm -hmm. Who you are. You know, I had fellow students in Germany who were found somewhere in a roadside ditch, in shoeboxes at the end of the war. They too didn't know who they were. You're not the only one. And who gave you that sign? The other one. Your foster mother? Yes. They called you that way because that's what the sign said. Yes. Yes. So that is your story. And now you come here and think that if you terrorize me, I can help you out. But I can't help you. And above all, not this way. Even if I wanted to, the old story about the German or Russian discoverer has nothing, absolutely nothing, to do with your heritage. And now let me through. I'm cold. That's what I almost suspected. How much do you want for it? Nothing. Um, 
you, you want some coffee? Yeah. Tea? Tell me. I already told you that there is nothing. Tell me about you. I don't talk about myself. Tell me anyway. I'm going to put on something else now. I mean, you want some berries? No. I'll get some anyway. Mine. Four weeks shoveling and two weeks off because of the lead. The lead will still get into your blood. But I thought that only young men work there. Well, I told the foreman that if one came too close, I'd cut his dick off. I forgot the berries. I like to collect berries. Tons of them. And patterns. Well, I have a little screw loose too. On vacation, my husband and I always went to pick berries. And when I came here, it continued. A summer without berries is no summer for me. In the beginning, I thought that I could give away many of them, but then the people came to call with their presents, and I had to talk to them, but I wanted to be alone with my images. That's how it is and has been for 21 years. Good. When I can them, I write the years on the bottom. Sometimes I make new patterns in the long nights. When the light comes back in February, everything starts to glow again. You, you must be, are you? But you peeps doch. Are you nuts or what? Hey! And the sofas. Hey, sleeping. Blödsinn. She's asleep. Smells like liqueur.
Sandra. Okay, please, don't drive with that thing. I mean with the machine. No, no, the door is over there. I just wanted to come by to chat a little. Kotzebue brought by a fish. You can have half. Call me Kotz.
find anything. It doesn't have anything to do with you. Tell me about your husband. I don't know. He... He was... Um... He was what? He was a musician. Rock? He was a violinist. The last thing he played was the Spring Sonata by Beethoven. Where is he? He's dead. How old was he? 24, just like me at that time. 21 years ago, they shot him. Who? The Germans. But you're... German, yeah. We were both German, my husband and I. <laughs> okay, then. So you will be the one. I don't know why it is you who I tell everything. My parents were communists. My father died in a camp just before the end of the war. I never knew him. My brother and I grew up in Berlin. Mother was very weak, but so happy that we were in the East when Germany was divided. With the communists who wanted to realize the ideals of my father, that all people are equal. But then they built the wall, they locked us in. We couldn't say what we were thinking. We couldn't write what was in our hearts. We couldn't do what we thought was right and fair. Like with the Nazis, my mother used to say, she died. I married when I was 21. Carl and I decided to escape. It was a March night. We had bought an escape route. It went underground from a house in East Berlin directly to the west and ended up directly behind the wall. We were almost through. We were running. Both with suitcases, backpacks. He with his violin case. Then the spotlight, the voice over a speaker. Stehen bleiben, das ist ein Befehl. And then the gunshots. Carl runs, falls over the violin case. Shots. I turn around, want to help him. Shots. He yells, run, Rosvita, for God's sake, run, run. I 
I, I, I stood there. I, I couldn't move. I see his blood. The pool around him gets bigger and bigger. He whispers, please run. I ran. I ran far. <laughs> That's how I came here. I've never left this place again, but I always see that spot that gets bigger and bigger. <laughs> My sneakers are wet. <laughs> What was that? What start? And? Well, I was just trying to fix it. You blew it up? I, know I didn't blow it up. You just, just blew it up? No. I was trying to fix That's it. That's all start. what you young people know. What you learn what from start? the TV. To blow up start? good things. I was not. Just try, just try, just try. I was trying to fix it. I was just I, trying to I fix really it. I really regret that I told my story to a rest like you. I was oh, just trying to fix it. Somebody who has no respect, not of books, not of feelings, not of herself.
Andrew Bass. Lucas Baby, are you there? Andy, Lucas Baby. Are you going to bring that shotgun right now? Who else is with you? Is it Pete and that Samma? <laughs> yes. This is Nancy. And that's... I gotta go real fast. That's Scott's a friend of mine who crashes here. Nancy, come on, Nancy. It wasn't yesterday that you told me we'd go to Florida. I thought you said you were gonna finish your masters here. It wasn't yesterday. It was 19 years ago when I was 15. Well, the money's here now. All you gotta do is say the word. I tell you one last time, bring home the sad gun right now. Where are you? century of painful separation has come to an end. The German Parliament building, the Reichstag, was once again a symbol of democracy. Celebrations took place throughout the country, but the most spectacular were in Berlin. More than a million people crowded around the Brandenburg Gate. They watched as fireworks lit up the sky. Sheriff. Besides that, I know you're. Where'd you get those? I'll cut your dick off.
I can't forbid you to come in here. It's a public library, but don't expect any favors. What's all this about? Open it. Open it. A plane ticket. Where to? Berlin. Two round trips. Kotzebue, Berlin, Kotzebue. You are crazy. Sweetest sounds sweeter. Entschuldigung, danke. You started. What? With the names. You know. Kot doesn't sound good in German. Why? What does it mean? Oh. It really isn't that important. We can find a new one, sweetheart. What? Name. Uh, I'll think about it. No, promise it. Oh, my blouse. Oh, sorry. Don't you have a brother here? Are we gonna go visit him? I finished telling you my story. My brother. I think that my brother, only my brother, could have given away our escape route. Does he know you're here? No. Does he know where you live? No. Do you know you're still alive? No. Do you know where he lives? No. Oh. 
find out. I, I don't think that I want to see it. Why are you here? This has nothing to do with you. But with you. How does that help you? I was alone. Now I have a friend. I can tell you everything. I can ask you anything. Peter, where was it? It was here, I think. This must have been the house. Everything was so well thought out. Everything seemed so safe. I guess they blew it up after they had caught us and then filled up the tunnel. Show me the path, Sweden. Show me everything. And uh, here was the tunnel, I think. My memories are terribly precise, but the reality is so different. Up here there were mines everywhere and watchtowers. It was a prison. Why? Because the idea of the equality of everyone was misused by a few. Here. It must have been here. Are you sure? No. Sweeta, look around yourself. It's gone. The tower and the wires and the mines, the wall, it's gone. I'm cold. Now you want to know. Yes. Where they took him after. Yes. Maybe your brother knows. Yes. Roswitha. Guten Tag, Anna. Das ist Überraschung. Da bist du ja endlich. Also, du bist Roswitha. Es war aber auch Zeit, dass wir uns endlich mal kennenlernen. Komm doch rein. Entschuldigung, wer ist das? Mit wem habe ich das Vergnügen? Ich habe was im Rohr. Ihr entschuldigt mich, ja?
verlange keine Erklärung für das, was du getan hast, Albert. Es ist sehr lang her. Aber für mich ist es wie gestern. Ich weiß, du wolltest, dass wir bleiben. Du hast an dieses Regime geglaubt. Deine Karriere in der Partei. Und du wolltest seine einzige Schwester nicht verlieren. Und Karl war ja auch dein Freund. Albert, was haben Sie mit ihm gemacht? Wo haben Sie ihn hingebracht danach? Albert. Albert. Albert, du, du musst auch was sagen. Was wieder? Albert, hör mich, er ist drauf. Hey, Steph. He doesn't have to hear you. He understands. Es tut mir so leid. Ja, Albert. Das wusste ich. Die ganze Zeit. Mutters Schmuck. Danke. Leb wohl. Roswitha, wir müssen jetzt wirklich kommen. Alles ist fast fertig. Aber das ist doch... Roswitha, du kannst doch nicht... Sweden, you look so beautiful. Where did you get those? Where did you get those? Chuck asked me the same thing. The same way. Chuck? Bingo Chuck? Noyak's Chuck? Do you know that Noyak has the exact same charms? Mine were in the package. The one they found you in? Yeah. So, uh... How far is it to the graveyard, sweetie? Not far. It will still be light out. Berlin, German Democratic Republic, November 12, 1970. Dear sister, the tragic events of the 7th of this month cast a shadow on my days. I do not know where you have fled or where you plan to flee. However, I would like, in the event that I find out your whereabouts, to notify you that we have, with great risk, on the 11th of this month, 
been able to give your husband and my friend Carl a proper funeral. He lies buried in section 11A, plot 524, in the Prenzlauerberg Cemetery. At the commemoration, two of his colleagues played the Spring Sonata, Opus 24, number 5, by Ludwig van Beethoven. After the service, we invited his friends to the Grüne Linde. I find it necessary to tell you that I believe I have done my duty in reporting the two of you, and that I bear you no grudge with socialistic regards your loving brother, Albert. Could you please unbutton this for me? I'm glad that you said something. I didn't say anything. I wanted to, but I didn't. Was enough? Enough? No, it wasn't. There's so much more. Everything I feel and see here and at home and the past, sweet. How can I learn it? To say it, to express it, to speak? Yeah. Could you teach me? Can I honestly teach you anything, Boo Boo? You thought of a name for me. I think I like it.
Look right here one more time. You have given me a very big gift today, Boo Boo. The bad images are vanishing. <laughs> You're smiling for the first time. Yeah, Boo Boo, I could give it a try. Now, my journey is over. Now we could start to look for the German cuts of booth. That's not gonna do me any good. It has nothing to do with me. <laughs> Boo Boo. I'm sorry, Liv. You hurt me so much. And I'm so thankful for that. Yeah. I don't know where I was without you. You smell so wonderful. You're so beautiful. You're so beautiful. So tender. You're an angel. No. I was nothing. I was in the dark. Sweet. You're bright. I love you. I love you so much. Sweeta, I want to die for you. Sweeta, I want to die with you. Sweeta. Sweeta. I want to be. Stop now, please. Please. Boo boo. That's not me. That's not you. We both have, have to be very careful now with each other and with ourselves. You know, it is as if you just pulled that sled 
past the rec center and all the way up to my brother's house. To the grave. I really want to tell you how close I am to you. Please, give me some time. My heart is so terribly upset. I feel so ripped up. I imagine how it would have been afterwards. You want more. And I would have had to tell you the same thing, that this is not me. But after the fact, what would happen then? I do love you, though. You came into the library and didn't have the slightest hope to find anything. You just started to search somewhere. And you opened one door after the other for both of us. You and I. Bobo, have you ever loved someone? I mean physically, like you wanted me? Man and woman? Look, I'm very unsure, but I have to be honest. I think that the two of us have something waiting for us, something important, and we can't put that at risk. I think of Alaska. It's my home. No, even more. You are from me. The most important in the entire world. Without you. Say something, Book. Please. I can stay with you.
I have nothing to read. The library is closed. I don't have anything for tonight. Where's Noyak? Returning my money, young fella? I've got them. She's got them. I have to go call Bingo. Bingo is here now. So? What do you mean, she? She's a girl. Oh. I didn't give them to her. tear it apart. Either you lock the place up or you come down, but it won't work this way, Chuck. Is everything okay here, Chuck? Everything's fine, Ernie. Okay. I'll quiet him down. Only for a minute. Chuck, I want to know who you gave the second set to, where it was, and when it was. I can't tell you, Neuer. Chuck, I'll give you one last chance. After that, those will belong to you again. And you know what I mean. Wayak, I think we have to tell Chuck that those were in a package with a baby, which was found somewhere in the country 20 years ago. She's looking for father and mother. She wants to know who she is. It's all right to know. I can't help you. Why? Because I'm not proud of it. Then trash your pride! It wasn't just these two. I told you I'm not proud of it. I gave them to every one of the girls. What do you mean by everyone, Chuck? Noyak, you know who I was. They called me Kotzebue because I started my tours from here. I did business with... And every good trade was sealed with a... a celebration. I, You just don't turn down these gifts of hospitality. The Eskimos are... I know what Eskimos are. I wanted to explain. And the girls. I take it that they were all very young, just like me. I was 15, and now I'm 35. And maybe her mother was 15, too, on your last tour, the one with the big snowstorm, when you appeared out of nowhere in your big fur coat. Leave me alone with my daughter.
Open up your door I'd walk through the snow 